Matthew Doyle from Scaleform here again, welcoming you to the fifth Scaleform GFX UDK integration tutorial, Invoke Action Script and FS Commands. In this session, I'll show you how to communicate back and forth between Unreal and a Swift file using Invoke Action Script and FS Commands. Invoke Action Script is used by UDK to fire off functions found in the flash file. You'll need to know the fully qualified path of the function to call it. If the function lives at the root of the flash file, simply calling the function name will work. Open Kismet and create a new action. Select GFX UI, then GFX Invoke Action Script. Connect the touched output of the trigger to the end connection of Invoke Action Script. Wire the object variable to Movie Player. Click on the Method Name field and enter the fully qualified path to the function. Going back to the flash file, there is a function on the root timeline called my demo function. So, I'll enter my demo function in the field. The function expects a boolean argument. If the argument is true, the function just tells the logo to go to the on label in its timeline and play from that point forward. If a function has arguments, we can add those easily. Click the green plus icon to add a new argument. Open the argument by clicking on the black arrow icon. Click AS underscore undefined and set the dropdown to AS underscore boolean, which corresponds to our function in Flash. Finally, put a check mark in the B checkbox to set it to true. Save the level. Let's test it out. As we walk up to the wall, we can see the logo animate slowly. This is the result of our action script function in the flash file being invoked by Unreal when we hit the trigger. Finally, let's send a message from the flash file back to UDK. We accomplish this in Kismet with FS commands. Let's have a look at the FS command in flash. The function show scores is executed by the my demo function. All show scores does is send the fs command show scores. So back in Unreal, let's add a new event in Kismet. Select GFX UI, then fs command. Now add a new action. Select miscellaneous, then choose console command. Connect the fs command to the console command. Select the FS command node and enter show scores in the FS command field in the properties panel. Be sure to insert the Swift path into the movie field. Connect the player zero variable to the target of the console command. Last of all, Add the console command show scores. We're all set. Save your progress and let's give it a test. Walking up to the wall with the Swift on it not only causes the logo to animate now, but the scoreboard should pop up, thanks to the FS command sent from Flash. This isn't necessarily the best way you would accomplish this, but it does illustrate how FS commands from Flash files can be used by UDK. This concludes the fifth UDK workflow tutorial. We hope this series has been of some value to you. Stay tuned for future tutorials detailing HUD and menu creation, as well as accessing flash files via Unreal Script.